Hello, ladies. It's Marie. Uh, I am here in all my glory. No makeup, workout hat, hair a mess. Um, because I don't care. Um, my Monday morning mojo is my experience at the grocery store this morning. Uh, I'm not supposed to touch my face, apparently. Um, I have some elderly neighbors, and I called them last night to see if they needed anything, and they, their voices shook, and they were like, that would be so wonderful. And I got to the store early, and it wasn't open until 8. There was a line around the block, around the block. And they were only letting a certain amount of people go in and only two toilet paper or whatever. So I finally got in like oh, maybe 35 minutes later. <laughs> and um, I felt this energy um, that is really sad and scared. And um, I'm pretty intuitive that way. And um, not that you need to be these days. But there were a lot of elderly people in the... Um, in the grocery store and you could feel their fear and um there was no more toilet paper it was gone within a half an hour before i even got in the store and no more um uh, paper towels and i was just looking at these empty shelves and these elderly trying to get what they needed for maybe a week and they don't have a lot of money or whatever and this man and the i was finally in line i was shopping for my neighbors and i got a couple stuff for my daughter and i and i was in line and it was all the way down the um aisle and this older man with you know those wallets that you travel with with the pouch right here he had it um with his cash in it and he was shaking and he was walking and he had a cart and he'd gotten two things of toilet paper so he must have been there for a while and he looked at the long line and you just saw his face and honestly i got really emotional i'm getting emotional again and he was just scared and I said, sir, because I was almost at the beginning of the line. And I said, sir, you need to come here. You can get in front of me. And his, his whole body and everyone was like, absolutely, absolutely. And people started moving because nobody was aware that he was scared. And he went in and he couldn't figure out his money. And the checker remembered him. I guess he comes every week. And she's like, this is more than you've ever gotten. And he didn't have the code to his card. Um, he didn't have the code to his card. And he didn't have enough cash so we're all like giving cash and he was so he was so humbled um and this man helped him walk outside with his groceries and left his wife to finish her stuff and it was just the best of humanity in that moment and i just looked around and it's like okay this is scary there's a lot happening we have so much excess in this world i get my groceries delivered for christ's sakes um, maybe this is a course correction for all of us. I'm crying right now because I was so touched by humanity. Um, and you know, you can look at the shelves and you can say assholes that are grabbing all the stuff that don't need it. You can read that article about those two brothers that bought like 18,000 pharrells that they were going to sell on Amazon for a ridiculous price and hoard people. Or you can look at that moment where everybody was like slowed down and saw somebody in need, including me. And all they wanted to do was help this man. And so, you know, um, so here's, hi, Shannon. Here's the thing is as crazy busy women, we are moving all the time and we're on our phones and we're thinking, I mean, I don't know about you, but when I get in my mode, I'm never in the moment that I'm in. I'm like, okay, I got to get the groceries and then I got to get home to relieve the babysitter. And then I'm already cooking on my sh thing, thinking about like, okay, and then she's got homework and, and I've still got laundry or whatever the hell and some work to do and we're not in this moment and what happened this morning was everyone was slowed down um because we're standing in line and we have to wait which we never have to do usually and um and we could notice people and we could notice energy and we could notice humanity and help each other and um you know we have like again there's so much excess in the country we are blessed to live in this place i've my mantra the last couple of days as my daughter's home now for six weeks, help me Lord. And, you know, people are worried. I have a lot of people in my life right now worried about their jobs because things are just shutting down and they're scared about losing their jobs. And I'm just like, we are lucky because we can wait this out. And so many people can't. And now all the restaurants are like closing or at least half capacity, all the bars and the whatever, everything's closing. And there are so many people that rely on those jobs and there are so many people who are going to need us. So, um, this is a moment to slow down, 
think beyond ourselves. Is there neighbors that need help? Is there something you can do? Can you give to a food bank? Um, can you just watch out for people that need help and, and see this as a moment? Maybe we're course correcting from all our, our excess in this world to realize how important our health is and how important it is to take care of each other and that our staying at home or being responsible has a ripple effect in the world and that that is so true about the rest of our lives is everything we do has a ripple effect, good or bad. And so like, you know, maybe this is a time for all of us to just slow the hell down and think about somebody besides ourselves and think about other people. And I will tell you in this group of crazy busy women, we're really good at serving everybody else. Um, we're really good at that. And we give to everybody else and never to ourselves. This is also a time to take care of yourself. And in this time where you're working from home and you're, you know, maybe, um, stressed or whatever, frustrated, whatever, like take responsibility for your thinking and how you're thinking about things. Cause we can be, this can be the worst of times or the best of times. And so many times when you think back about natural disasters or things like that, that to see and witness humanity and people's goodness, um, it always outshines, always, always, always outshines the jerks who are buying all the toilet paper or the Perel or whatever. Like we all will get through this. And if we are thinking beyond ourselves, we'll make this world a better place when we come out the other end. So that was on my heart because I just had such a moving experience at the grocery store. And obviously I'm still emotional about it, but we can do that. Like we can do that every day without a crisis. And I got to tell you, I don't know if I even look anybody in the eye when I'm grocery shopping, which I rarely do anymore because I usually get it delivered. But when I'm out running errands, I'm, I'm like, I don't even know if I look at the cashier and say, thank you for doing what you're doing. And I thank the cashier because she was such a beautiful woman. She was literally like, she saw what we did and she said, thank you. And she knew his name. And she was like, you're buying more than you usually do. You know, um, you know, you have my number if you ever need anything. And she, you know, she, she doesn't really know him. She just knows him from going to the grocery store and she decided to make reach out. She was telling me other stories when I got up there because she thanked me for doing what I did. And she was telling a story about how, um, another elderly lady didn't have enough money and she took money out of her own pocket. And I mean, it's just like people are good and we can be even better in these moments and it doesn't, shouldn't take these moments, but like, let's use this moment to be the best version of ourselves. Um, and, um, really just choose to see the positive because there's going to be negatives for sure, but there are also some really amazing things going on. So that is my quick mojo for the week is we get to choose how we see the world and we can see the negative and the chaos and the mismanagement or whatever. We can't do anything about that, but we can choose to see the goodness and how we can help people and how we can make this better for ourselves and others and think beyond ourselves. And I think that that will always make a better world. And so I encourage you to do that even in these crazy, scary times. Okay. Um, this is me in all my glory saying to you, I love you all and we'll get through this together. And your mojo for this week is to think and see the goodness in the world because it's there and we will get through this and we'll be better for it actually. Because anytime I can think about any natural disaster, whether it was 9-11 or the crash of 20, uh, 20, 2008 or whatever, we course corrected in some way as a humanity. And um, there's something here for us to learn. And there's something here that we're going to come out even being better, stronger, probably, hopefully more caring people. So have a great week. Bye, Shannon. Bye.